it's simple. Use one of these four color palette structures and create more impactful and beautiful charts and graphs. So when it comes to data visualization, there are four basic color palette structures, sequential, divergent, categorical, or highlight. Let's go through them one by one. But first, a reminder of something we learned at school. This is a color. This is a color. But so is this, this, and this. Artists and designers will call them hues, tints, tones, and shades. But for this video, we're simply gonna call them colors and gradients. Okay, now back to the color palette structures. Sequential. So when you have data values that go from low to high, you need to stick with sequential color palettes. Here, you need to choose one color or hue, but use a gradient of the color. The one rule you have to follow with sequential palettes is that you need to make sure that the light colors represent the small numbers and that the darker colors represent the larger numbers. Used right, sequential color palettes create numeric meaning, which means when we look at a data visualization like this, we immediately get an idea of what the data is trying to show without even showing any numbers, a key or a description. Not bad. Divergent. When you have data on a scale, but where the data separates into two different sets, you want to use a divergent color palette structure. So this is basically two different sequential color palettes, often with a neutral midpoint. Divergent color palettes are great for showing if people rated your company positively or negatively, if a customer is profitable or losing you money, or if temperatures are above freezing or below freezing, things like that. Remember though that colors have meaning and more so when you're using two colors in combination. You don't want to have blue symbolizing hot and red symbolizing cold or red symbolizing something positive and green negative. Spend a minute thinking about which two colors make the most sense for the data visualization you want to create. Categorical. So sequential and divergent palettes use color to create numeric meaning. But when you're visualizing data from different categories, your main goal is to show that this thing here is different to this thing here. So here you want to avoid using different gradients of one or two colors, but instead use a range of distinctly different colors or hues. The main mistake people make with categorical color palettes is using far too many colors. If you want it to be easy to understand, you really need to focus on having five categories max. Using more than five different colors just makes any visualization more complicated. Highlight. But even when you're using a handful of colors, it's hard for the viewer to understand what specifically they should be looking at. Highlighting helps you to do this. It simply involves reducing all category colors to a consistent light gray and highlighting an individual category. It's one of the best ways to tell a story with data because it helps to guide the viewer's eye. And if you absolutely, positively must show lots of different categories, use highlighting. If you know these four approaches, the next challenge is how to pick the right colors. The free tool I absolutely love is coolers.com. It's free to use. I use it all the time to help me find colors that work well together. And I use it also to create gradients for specific colors that I need to use. It's perfect for people like me that aren't professionally trained graphic designers to know which colors work best together. But when it comes to creating impactful charts, graphs, and data visualizations, color is just one tool in your toolbox. If you pick the wrong chart to show your data, using color correctly isn't gonna fix it. If you click on the link on your screen right now, you can find out what the world's five most popular charts are, as well as when and how to use them. So click on the link and start learning how you can take your data game to the next level. Oh, mm -hmm.